Hello and welcome back to our HIP Roman Restoration campaign. In our last episode, we finished our war against the HRE, took the land over here, and then we've mostly been at peace until this adventurer arrived and declared war on us. So we're going to repel his invasion, uh, assuming all goes according to plan, and then probably get back to some offensive wars of our own. So he has about 30,000 troops almost. We have a bit less than that raised, I think. 10,000 over here, another 15 or 16 on the way. So we are gonna need to raise a bit more to make things uh, pretty safe for us in this war. So I don't think we raised the rest of our troops from our other Italian lands, so we'll get them raised. Probably won't bother with Ravenna. We can go down to Benevento and join our other people. You guys are already on the way over. We're still going to need a few thousand more, though I don't want to raise too many because, of course, the vassals are restless, and we have been having some faction problems. I guess we'll raise Bosnia over here, and a few other people in this area. Because we can transport these guys across very quickly. gonna be enough another five and a half maybe we'll get just a couple more people get them to rendezvous over there and then send our boats for them once they've dropped off their first load of troops so our enemy is coming from Brittany I believe I'm assuming by boat Let's see if we can find out where he actually is. Uh, he's apparently in Brittany. It's, uh, yeah, actually making his way by land through France, it looks like, so... Maybe we can hope that he'll suffer some attrition or run into some hostile armies along the way, that would be nice. If I was him, I would have used boats, but hey. And we got the tithe, that's pretty good. Especially if we're gonna have to bribe more vassals. Which is possible. Alright, this Dukissa is happier, that's a good thing anyway. Opsicon, was she in factions? I think she might have been in the lower Crown Authority faction. Well, she's probably happy enough at 80 to stay out of factions for a while. I guess Latium is in two different factions here, so we'll send our Chancellor over to butter him up a bit. Ah, here he is, with boats, okay. So he's coming by land and by sea, apparently. Okay, well hopefully that means this isn't his full army then. Though, if he's landing his full 25,000, or however much it was, on top of my army here, that would be pretty good. Otherwise, if it's nearby, we might just pounce on him while he's at low morale. I wonder whether the Lord approves of this war. Well, of course. But we didn't even declare it ourselves. I'll count here you guys in. I think it's here, actually. Maybe we'll just land them over here. Should be able to disband our boats safely at this point. Let's see where he's landing his troops. Probably in his actual target here, actually. Yes, I did say actually twice. Or is he not landing them? Well, in the meantime, I guess we can invest in... Let's do construction. We haven't been building much in the way of upgrades anyway. Oh, 
Oh, okay, so now he's got uh, 10,000 or so. Ah, 9,000 up here too. See, the galleys are moving north up to here. Hmm. I'll just let him do whatever he's doing then. He should be hostile to all of these vassal armies. So with any luck he'll run into some of those. No idea where his boats went off to. Let's find the man himself and see where he is. Apparently he's still up here in France, which incidentally is having a revolt led by New Zealand, apparently. But that's neither here nor there, I suppose. Well, if his other army has disappeared somewhere, I think we'll take this opportunity to send troops north to engage this 10,000 or so. I guess we'll just send all of them. Why don't you go up along the coast? Probably better supply limit. Range marriage from King Vid the Just of Hungary. No, oh, just courtiers. Sure. So I think he's in Santa Fiora here. Which is Plains. Let's head to Orvieto. Alright, Latium had his opinion improved. He is no longer in any factions, good. And things are looking a lot better over here. Uh, this guy... Oh, no, wait, Latium is still in factions. It's him, okay. Uh, that's fine then, we'll just leave our Chancellor over there. Okay, let's go hunt the Great White Stag as well. Alright, I think we'll just go and attack him in here. Seems like he's actually in the neighboring county. Which also is plain, so that's fine. We could go around to Volterra here to attack him without a river crossing, but... No, actually we will do that, just to be on the safe side. Oh, there we go. That should get him out of any factions he was still in. I guess we'll go work on Paphlagonia. So the battle is engaged here. Oh, he only had a single flank of troops even. So uh, that's going to go badly for him. A few counties being converted to the Orthodox faith, that's good. Alright, so uh, that's that army taken care of. Don't know where his other one is. Let's check the outlying regions of the Empire. Don't have any hostile sieges. Well, who knows then? I guess um, I don't really want to disband my troops, but I don't want to keep them raised either, because... Everyone's getting annoyed about it. Anyway, we've gathered our followers and our hunting dogs. We saddled our horse and prepared our weapons. We're ready to go out to hunt the Great White Stag. When you 
Duke of Cappadocia. Oh, there's his fleet, okay. Uh, let's check the religious map here to see these recent conversions. I think they've largely been in Italy here. So Sidon as well, which I believe is over here. Somewhere there. So I'm making pretty good progress on that. Fruitlessly scouring the countryside, you come upon a small cottage in the wilds. As you lock, as you knock, an old crone opens. When she sees you and your hunting party, she cackles eerily and says that she has a powerful potion that will make you a stronger hunter, sure to catch any prey. Yeah, let's go for it. Sell it to me. You drink the potion down, soon you start to feel all queasy, and then you pass out. As you awake, you have a strong headache and no desire to continue your hunting expedition. The old crone has disappeared. Your guards don't seem to know how or where to. I don't feel well. So we're going to be ill. We should be fine, though. Considering our strength and our health bonus from hunting. We return to our court. Maybe next time we'll catch our prey. Oh, and already we're better. Great. Alright, so let's get an army moving south to engage whatever troops he's going to land down here. Oh, he actually has 19,000. Unfortunately, we are a little slow to get there before they've recovered morale, I think. That's okay. Um, how many troops can we, or how many boats can we raise from Italy? Uh, we can't quite carry everyone. Alright, I guess there's just not really much advantage to doing that anyway. We'll just have all of our troops march down here. This Duke of Opsikion has provided me with proof that some metropolitan has been slandering me. Well, we probably don't care about that, so that's fine. And we'll just merge these and get our best troops, or our best leaders in charge, and attack him. I think this is probably mountains, uh, or rather plains even, here. Yeah. But we should be just fine. Kind of expecting that we might take attrition in one of these counties on the way, but uh, maybe not. Seems like we have good supply limits. Only two flanks in this one, so again, we should be pretty well favored to win this without too much trouble. I mean, just purely based on the numbers, we were going to win. After 100 years under the Byzantine Empire, Wallachia is no longer considered de jure part of the Empire of Hungary. Okay, good. So if you look at de jure empires, we have drifted. Which is fine. I think that actually affects his likelihood to join factions. If his kingdom is de jure part of our empire, he's less likely to join factions. If I'm correct. Alright, so that gave us 100%. We can enforce our demands. And let's see. He has no money, so we'll just execute him. Uh, did that give me an opinion penalty? I wasn't really paying attention, but I think it did. Oh well. Probably not a big deal. Okay, so troops disbanded. We have our truce with the Holy Roman Empire until 1218. Also with Armenia. And this is the Imperial Revolt. Uh, we do not have a truce with Venice, so they've apparently had a change of leadership, so we could declare on them again. And maybe Genoa. And do some more wars in this area. 
on the other hand, we could also turn our attention over here and maybe attack the Seljuks for more land in Jerusalem. And probably also Egypt at the same time if we're doing that. He's got 20,000, the Seljuks have 3,000. Well, we'll definitely attack the Seljuks. I think we'll just go for Egypt at the same time. And if we have CBs on some of these other people, maybe we'll also do them. Well, we have the Holy War CB, but apparently not Imperial Reconquest. We do have Imperial Reconquest on him. So perhaps we'll do that. Uh, Georgia, we have no Imperial Reconquest, and they're a little bit out of our intended area here, so we'll leave them alone. Okay, so I think we'll just declare on Egypt the Seljuks. And, oh, this is a revolt, actually. Alright, those aren't the guys we were going to declare on anyway. It was you. Okay, so we have plenty of Imperial Reconquests to choose from. Against the Sel Seljuks, we could get, uh, what is this, three counties up here? Or pretty, actually, also only three counties in Jordan. Uh, I think we'll maybe get this, because it contains the county of Jerusalem. Sure, that sounds good. Oh, and King William of Egypt is our half-brother as well. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, half-brother. He's also allied with... Makuria down here. Probably don't have to worry about too much. And we'll just take the neighboring duchy here, whichever one it is. We could take Alexandria and... immediately get our holy site, but I don't think there's any great hurry to do that. We'll just take Sinai. It'll cost us 50 prestige. I think we can spare that. Looks like he's already involved in some kind of war over here. Uh, defending against Khalif Hakam. Okay. Well, that's good. Let's get our armies raised. Uh, I think we'll just disband the Italian troops, since we just had them raised. I know we're keeping some levies raised that we also just had raised from over here, but I think that's okay. Uh, yeah, we can probably get them started over here in Antioch. probably be a bit faster to transport some of these over by boats, but that would involve a lot more clicking, so I'll just do it the lazy way. Oops, somebody changed their mind about a marriage offer there. We have righteous imprisonment on our King Bishop of Jerusalem. That's interesting, actually. If I'd realized that I might have tried to revoke his title. Which we don't have cause to do right now, I think. No, we don't. Um, but we would have if we attempted to arrest him and he rebelled against us. We might do that after this war. I'd like to get some things tidied up there. He's not supposed to have this guy underneath him, for example. A large shrine dating back to antiquity has recently been unearthed in Constantinople, so we can decide what to do with it. 
And I think we'll do the one that gives us diplomacy and lower revolt risk. And we have build time modifiers and build cost modifiers, so maybe we'll take the opportunity to build some kind of upgrade in Constantinople. And my guard seems unhappy about the war. We'll sympathize with him, I guess. So we'll just choose something to build in the capital. I guess a castle town is probably going to be worth it in the long run. All right, well, we're out of time for this episode, so we'll leave it here and get started on fighting these wars properly next time. So thanks for watching, and join me again then.